And with the uh, the infamous Robert Cherasino. Hi, how are you doing? Good, Robert. How are you doing today? Well, actually, I'm on or you're never, but I'm trying to hide it, but I need a larger tie. All right. Well, if, if you're here, it must mean that the uh, veterans are having another blood drive. We are indeed. We're having one February 3rd, and it will be at the American Legion Hall at Sutter Hill between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Can't miss it, right on Highway 49, right? No, and I've got a little floppy guy out there now, so I don't have to run around in a little <laughs> drippy costume out on the highway. I like the drippy, though, but... Yeah, that was, uh, <clears throat> for the summertime, it wasn't very much fun in there. But, so so yeah. if somebody wants to volunteer to get in the uh, blood drippy costume, they can still I, do that, right? I can still have it, uh, have it shipped over. I love volunteers out there. Okay. Well, tell us about the blood drive, what time it is. Uh, we know it's at the American Legion Hall. It's from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on uh, Monday, the, uh, the 3rd of February. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping that this year turns out like it did last year. We had a fantastic year last year. It's the best year we've ever had collecting blood. We took over 628 units in last wow. year. Yeah, for 2013. I mean, that was just amazing. Mm -hmm. In 2012, we took in, um, I think it was 606 units. So the blood drive was growing considerably. In 2011, we took in 580. Okay. So we're we're growing constantly. I mean, I've got to have some of the best and, and uh, uh, most uh, persistent donors uh, anywhere in the state. They, now, they, they keep coming. Blood. Talking about that, what is the gap uh, between persons giving blood? Uh, what do you mean the gap? Uh, uh, how, how many times can they give gap a year? Um, what is the wait period? 30 days, 10 days? Uh, it's eight weeks. Eight weeks, so and two months. Yes, and roughly. blood drives are uh, scheduled every eight and a half to nine weeks apart. Okay. So I do uh, six a year. And now we have uh, a new machine they call an AFRIS machine. Uh, certain select people uh, can donate on that. And when they donate on that, they can actually donate every two weeks. Really? Yeah, it's quite a process. You're, you're in the bed for about uh, an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. The machine will actually remove uh, your blood and filter out certain components of it mm -hmm. and then put the fluid, the rest of the fluids back in your system. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, quite a process. Do people, do people trust that then? That, that yes, they do. Healthy. And that's, uh, that's quite an expensive and, and quite an interesting machine. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, about six or eight donors that uh, do that every two weeks. Now, when you in. do that, you got to sit there for an hour and a half. Can you come in and take a nap? Well, they don't want you to fall asleep. Okay. No, they get real <laughs> nervous when you fall asleep in there, yes. They want your blood to keep circulating in your body, and I guess when you fall asleep, everything just kind of tones down. Well, I'm not too sure about that, but it just makes them nervous because then they can't, you know, they, they, they freak out a little bit. Right. I've... Uh, I've gone in and donated when I was extremely tired, and I says, can I just kind of take a nap? No, stay hey. awake. I can't do that. All right. Um, people that can donate yes. are people that are not taking certain medications. Are there any other conditions? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, you know, you have to have, you, you can't have a fever. Uh, they have a whole checklist that you go through when you, uh, when you register. And you have a questionnaire and a medical sheet that you uh, read up on and it will uh, explain certain medications that you may or may not be on and if you are on them uh, they just can't accept it at that time. Sometimes there's a uh, uh, one month wait period after you would stop the medication. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's less depending yeah. on the medication. Yeah, I told you I'm on a medication now that I went off of it and it was a six month wait and I I waited the six months to make sure because I don't want to you're giving blood to help people, not to hurt yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, um, as it turns out, I can't do it anymore. But I, I like giving blood because you know you're helping people. And speaking of helping people, does all that blood stay here in Amador <coughs> County? No, it does not. Uh, it goes into a, uh, a bank in Sacramento, and it's distributed where it's needed. Okay. However, last year, for instance, uh, our hospital used probably um, 1,200 units of blood. Well, we took in 628 units last year, and more than half of those units are broken down into two units. Mm -hmm. 
So we took in over 1,200 units basically. Right. So we covered exactly what our hospital used. All right. And any of the blood that that hospital did use was drawn from the uh, the uh, blood source out of Sacramento. And, and you know, there's a lot of people in Amador County that end up in the Sacramento or Stockton region, and they may uh, be using blood from those hospitals. Oh yes, yes, without a doubt, because they they share, they pool it all together, okay. and it's uh, it's taken where it is needed. And uh, I always like this: you got to bring a photo ID when you go in, and you have to eat and drink a lot before you go in, right? Yes, yes. If you're not properly hydrated, the system. Uh, is uh, it's very difficult to uh, to extract the blood from you. Of course, I <clears throat> prefer using my dog drink, but then yeah. I get scolded for that. So no alcohol, just water, basically. Will See, do it. Well, water, fruit juices, mm -hmm. uh, any any good fluids like that. Okay. Um, should people contact you if they have questions, or contact uh, Blood Source? Well, it depends on the question. I have my number on the uh, on the flyers that I put out as well as the 800 number for the blood source. So 223-1269. Yes. That's probably the best one to go to. And then if they uh, ask any more complicated questions, then... Uh, yeah, if I can't can answer them. it, then I'll, I'll refer them directly to the blood source. All right, give us a date and time one more time. Okay, February 3rd from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Up at Sutter Hill at the American Legion Hall. All right, Robert. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, give blood and uh, help save some lives out there. And with that, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. It's local.